Hi Scotty! So when I say that I'm not a gamer, I mean I'm not one of those people that plays games for 24 hours a day. I'm not one of those people. I casually enjoy gaming a little bit, but I'm not a gamer. I'm not addicted to games, I should say, um, by any stretch of the imagination. So it's really interesting that you talked about performances because I just so happened to go to a performance this week. Yes indeedy! I went to see the worship band Leland, who I'm pretty sure you've heard of them, they're really good. Well, I mean they're really famous. They are really good, but they're pretty famous. If you haven't heard of them, it's like progressive worship style stuff. <laughs> So I got to meet the band. Well, I say meet. They signed my t-shirt. This is the Great Awakening t-shirt that I wore. I haven't washed it since Tuesday night, so it kind of stinks. But the reason I haven't washed it is because they signed the shoulder of the shirt while I was wearing it. I was just like, guys, here's my fabric pen. Just, just write your name on it, please. And uh, like, um, my friend Jill took pictures of me getting my shoulder signed by the band. You can see it's all wrinkled. It hasn't been washed or ironed since Tuesday. Uh, it smells disgusting. I don't normally have dirty pieces of laundry for more than like a day. It's just the fact that um, with fabric pens you have to iron the fabric mark on so it doesn't come off in the wash. That's why I haven't done that because I haven't got around to ironing the shirt yet. Anyway, so yeah, they signed um, my shirt and I got a picture with the band and everything and it was so cool. And I just think that being a fan of a band is an integral part of today's society, you know? So to carry on from the theme of performances and shows and concerts and stuff, I'm going to give you a brief list of 10 things to do and also not to do at a rock concert. Now I made this list thinking of the typical big massive rock concert, not like a really small town one. So that's where these points are coming from. Chances are some of them won't apply if it's just like a little tiny concert somewhere. But hope you enjoy it anyway. Firstly, decide where you want to be before the band starts playing. If you realize as soon as the first song starts that you are way too close to the front beside a massive speaker and it's blasting your eardrums out, then you should have really thought about that before the band started. Think, I want to be close to the front, but I don't want to be beside either of the two speakers at the right or the left, so I'm going to try and wangle myself somewhere in the middle. If you have really sensitive hearing, chances are that will still be too loud, so you'll need to go further back. Thing number two, don't text or, or talk or take selfies during a really intimate moment like a quiet song, because chances are you're gonna get some death glares from big fans. Three, absolutely do come prepared with sensible clothing. Sensible shoes, if you're the kind of person that likes to rock out, you don't want to be wearing high heels if you're a girl because your feet are gonna be dead. Don't wear like sweaters because chances are it'll get really sweaty anyway. Or if you do have a sweater for when it's cold outside, bring a bag so you can take it off and put it in, etc. Bring water, all that kind of stuff that you'll need pins so that if the band happen not to have one then they can do your autograph whatever. Fourth thing, don't be that annoying fan that just shouts lame stuff at the band every two seconds. Five, don't be the lame fan who brags about knowing all the words to all the songs. Chances are you're not the only one. Six, it's essential to take photos a few times but don't overdo it because you'll just annoy people. Also 6.5, don't be recording your show with a tablet because people behind you don't want to be watching the show through your tablet lens. They want to be viewing the show with their own eyes. Seven, please try and pay attention to the security guys because they're just trying to ensure your safety unless they're being a jerk for no reason. Eight, if you're a really short person like me, don't suffer in silence if you can't see. Do something about it. Nine, enjoy the music. Last but not least, don't yell Freebird under any circumstances. That's all I have for you today. See you later. Bye!